In today's video, I will be unboxing the Chestnut Pro, a full tournament sized electronic chess set that is compatible with chess.com and Lee Chess. I'll be giving out an exclusive 10% off discount code at the end of this video, so don't leave without getting your hands on the free code. In addition to the chess board and the chess pieces for the board, I also got the carrying case for the board. And on top of that, I got the felt bags for the pieces and the phone stand. So we will be unboxing these items as well with the chessboard. Let's first start off with the box right here. So this has the felt bags for the chess pieces and also the phone stand. So let's open this up. There we are. So we've got the bags right here. Very nice sized, I like this. So we've got two bags right here, one for the white army, one for the black. And here we've got the phone stand. So as with the Chestnut Air, this this phone stand here should be metal as well. See they put a lot of good care into packaging this. Yes, all right. So this is the metal phone stand that comes with as an accessory with the Chestnut Pro. So you can get this for the Airboard or you could get it for the Evo. I guess the Evo you don't really need it because you've got the tablet right there. Uh, but for the Air and for the Pro, you can get this phone stand here. So this is metal. Should be able to hear that. And it's got little rubber pads here inside of the phone holding bits. Your phone goes right in here. And then there's also some rubber pads on the bottom. And this all moves. It's pretty stiff right now, which is pretty good because that'll keep the whole thing from just collapsing when you put your phone on it. So that's the phone stand. Let's put that right over here. Move this out of the way. Next thing to unpackage here is the carrying bag. Ah, here it is. Very nice. It's like a canvas material. And this logo right here is stitched in place. You might be able to tell. Kind of hard, but it is a stitched in here. It's not printed. Very good looking quality. These little zippers right here, these are metal. Let's see. So we've got one zipper here on the front. Let's see what this one is. Nothing's in there. Alrighty. Where's the zipper here? Open this up. So the board should go in here. Ah, let's see what we've got. We've got a strap. Once again, these things here are metal. Let's take off this. Little strap here, metal clip ons. Oops, oh, backwards. And here. Very nice. So you can carry that over your shoulder if you want, or you can carry it just with your hand. And then we've got plenty of room in here for the chessboard. So that'll sit right in there and be nice and secure. So I'm gonna put that back here out of the way. So now we can open up the actual board and the pieces. Let's go. Let's see, oh wow. Quick guide, basic info about the apps and signing up online. So we've got a cable here, we've got USB-C, so 
very familiar sight. It looks like the same cable that they use for the Chestnut Air and for the Chestnut Evo as well. So that is good. That's a familiar item. Here we've got all the pieces. Let's take a look at the Rooks first. Here we go. So these are wooden pieces, hand carved. We've got felt on the bottom of them. Looks very nice. These pieces are glossy, they're very smooth. All right, Rooks. Let's do the Knights. Knights are a very popular piece to take a look at, especially when you're looking at getting a chess set. I know some people just look at the Knights when they're purchasing a set of pieces. Let's see. So these pieces aren't particularly heavy. I don't feel any additional weighting inside of them besides just the wood. It would be nice if these came with a little bit more weight, but that's I mean, I guess I could probably add some weight in here myself, just take out the felt, um, take out the chip that's inside, and just install some pieces of metal, weigh these down. So we have the design. Teeth are a little bit crazy on this one, honestly, and the eyes too. Um, we'll put that aside. Let's take a look at the bishops. Ooh, the bishops look nice. I like this. Very pointy. Felt on the bottom as well. All right, let's take a look at the queens. So this set does come with extra queens. So you've got the first set and then a second set. Absolutely vital for any chess set. You must have extra queens. Here we are. I like the look of the dark queen, all those wood grains on here. That's really nice. Very, very cool. And, wow, not last, almost last. We've got the kings and then we've got the pawns next. So here are the kings. Very nice size. These, these kings are, I believe, 9.6 centimeters tall. Very good looking. And the pawns. So the king is 9.6 centimeters tall, which is about 3.8 inches. Here we have the pawns. It's like a marble size up here for the head of the pawn. Very big. Looks nice, okay. So, we already took a look at all the pieces, so I'm gonna take these ones out in a second. Put this aside for just a moment, because here we've got the board. Oh boy. Oh, this looks nice. Let's take this, whoa. Let's take this out. Pretty heavy. It's sticking in here real nice. Okay. Let's take off this plastic bag here. Ooh, that peels off nice. Very nice and smooth. Wow, look at that. Feels perfectly smooth. No bumps between the different squares. I like it, I like it. All right, so there should be a little menu bar on the side here. Let's see if I can turn this around. This board is very big. It just barely fits on my table here. Okay, here it is, here it is. So right here, we have the menu. 
Let's bring that a little closer. So it looks like I hit the power button when I opened up the box. So we have the power button and the Bluetooth blinking, and then the status is just remaining yellow. So on the far left, we've got the power button. At the power button right here, we've got the game memory button, I believe, is right there. We've got a little speaker, the chestnut logo, and then a USB-C input, and then the light buttons. And let's look at the back real fast. So on the back, we can see that the back panel is a little bit different colored wood from the actual board color. So when we look back over here, it's a little bit lighter wood. Same here as the rim. And then we've got little screws all along the sides here. And then felt pads, same kind of felt that was um, on the pieces. Same kind of felt is right here on the corners. So let's turn this over. Let's see. Did I power this on by accident? Okay, so that's off. So we're gonna tap and hold the power button till the red light turns to a green. And now it looks like it's on, okay. So this board does not have chess coordinates, but easy way to know if you've got the board oriented the right direction is to always have the light square in the bottom right hand corner of the board. So this is my right hand side. That would be my opponent's right hand side right over there. So we have this in the correct orientation. So we can put the white pieces on either side that we want to, uh, black pieces on either side. I'm gonna go ahead and just put the white pieces closest to me. I think that makes it quite simple. So while I set up this board, I'm gonna give you guys some specification information about these, this uh, chess set. So the chess board as a whole, it's uh, 55 centimeters by 55 centimeters, which is about 21, in, uh, 21 and a half inches, 21 and a half across in both directions. The squares are 55 millimeters by 55 millimeters, and that is about 2.2 inches. 2.2 inches that way, 2.2 inches that way. Um, this board does come built in with AI, so you can play against chess computers on this. I believe it's built in with Maya, which is the chess computer that's designed to play like a human. So it tries to mimic human chess thought processes and tries to imitate how a human would play a position at of a wide variety of different plane strengths. All these pieces are hand carved wooden pieces. On this board, we haven't actually been able to see it, but there are LEDs on the surface, but they are very well hidden because I don't see them at all. So that's pretty cool. This board is compatible with several third party apps such as White Pawn, Lee Chess. Uh, chess Dojo, Chess PGN Master, Chess for Android, a whole bunch of different apps. They can, all these different apps can be found on the uh, Chestnut website. I'll have a link in the description of this video and you can check that out. If you want more information about this chess set or the apps or anything like that, all this information is going to be in the link in the description on the Chestnut website. For this chess set here, the pieces don't appear to be weighted to a significant amount. I think it's just the wood. Um, they would definitely fit in these bags though. These bags are a lot bigger than the, uh, the chestnut air bags, which I got right here. So same kind of look, but just as you can see, significantly smaller for the smaller chestnut air pieces, which I guess we could compare in size. We got a knight here and we got a queen. So again, this is for the chestnut air right here, and then the Chestnut Pro right here. The Chestnut Evo pieces are the same style and the same size as these ones, so that's a pretty good comparison right there. And let's take a look at the queens. So they are significantly different in size. 
These ones are full tournament size as well as the board. The board is a complete tournament size. These ones are obviously not. They are much smaller. This is a nice travel size chess board um, for the Chestnut Air. Put that back there. So that was just a little sample there. I won't compare all the pieces. Let's look at the size of the Air board. So the Air board here is a portable board. It's a lot smaller. It does have the same menu buttons right here. So all these are very familiar to us. However, this is about that big. I'm holding it up above the pieces down there, but um, this is significantly smaller. Just for some size comparison, I wanted to show off the difference in size between the board. Um, the Pro is a little bit thicker than this here. It's just, you know, bigger board. It's got to be thicker so it can be nice and sturdy. That's a comparison. And I also have the Chestnut Evo here, so might as well compare this as well. So we've got it here. It's um, going horizontally, side to side. It's a little bit shorter by maybe like an inch, a half inch or something. But in height, so vertically like this, it's a lot shorter. It's a much smaller size as we can see right there. But that's just for some size comparison. I wanted to show you guys that. So in terms of pricing for this board, this Chestnut Pro is currently being sold for just at $600, just slightly under, um, for the board and for the pieces. The carrying bag, which we have right over here, this is being sold for just under $80. So a nice travel package for your board so it doesn't get damaged. And then for the felt bags here, and then also for the phone stand, these ones are going for about $30. Um, all United States dollars, just for pricing information. And then this cable came with the board. That's not an, an additional purchase. If you're interested in getting the Chestnut Pro for yourself, you can use the code CHESSUC to instantly get 10% off your entire order on the Chestnut website. Additionally, I also have a link that is going to be in the description of this video. You can use that link as well and that'll get you 10% off any order of a Chestnut item on the Chestnut website. So feel free to use that if you'd like. And next thing we need to do, I think, is power this up and try out the app. Okay, so now let's go ahead and pair up this board with the app. We'll play against a computer on the app for now, um, just so that we can see the LEDs in action. If you guys want me to do a game against an opponent on chess.com or play a game on Lee Chess, go ahead and leave that in the comment section down below, and I can absolutely get on to that. I can make a video for that in the very near future. For now, let's just take a look at this and do a little test game so we can see the LEDs. Uh, we'll stick with white, computer, connect. Okay, so I believe it's been a while since I turned on this board. So the Bluetooth light has since stopped trying to, trying to connect from the board to the phone. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on the power button, just one click. And now the blue LED is starting to blink over here. We can see it right there. Starting to blink, that means that the board is in pairing mode. So let's try to reconnect. I got the Bluetooth on my phone is already turned on. Perfect, and it is paired. So LEDs, we've got an option. We can do LEDs on or off. We'll leave that on. Beeps can be on or off, we'll leave that on. And we are connected. So now let's play a game against the computer. Stick with white and start game. Whoops, forgot these guys. Okay, so the board is on. All the LEDs are now on so we can see them. They're hidden under what appears to be a very thin layer of wood. But that is really cool looking. On the app, it says that all the pieces are on the wrong side. Can we just switch? 
should be interchangeable, I believe, since there's no uh, chess coordinates on the board. But let's try replacing this. Okay, so it, it wants the pieces on the opposite side. All right, all right. We'll switch them all around. All right, so let's play e4. Adjust the queen a little off. Okay. Let's bring out the knight. Bishop is instantly hung. Okie dokie. Let's take that. Knight to the rim. Knights to the rim or dim. Remember that. Um, yeah, we can we can just take the center here, give him this pawn for no reason. Okay, we have moved our king. Okay, that's not what we want to do. That is not recommended. Bringing out the knight. Got it. Got it. Um, let's just attack this king real fast. Being out in the open means you're under attack a lot. Okay, the king is retreating. Let's bring in the queen. We have moved a pawn. Yes, moving pawns. That is good. Well, I suppose we do just... We can just take there. Yeah, okay, so this computer is only level one, so it's probably not playing the best moves. Well, that's okay. We're getting to see how some captures work. I don't think anybody's castle. Let's go ahead and castle. Oh, so we had a check there. So the system made a beep sound when it captured. All right, let's let that pawn go. Let's just castle. So um, for castling, we're going to want to pick up our king first. If we move the rook first, the board's just going to think we slid our rook over here, and that's all we wanted to do. But since we want to castle, we're going to move the rook, or sorry, the king two squares in the direction he wants to castle, and the rook goes to the other side. And the app looks like it has accepted that just fine. Moving a pawn. Yes. Um, take this. I'm going to try to bring up the bishop, center the rooks, and see if we can't get a quick checkmate here. Oh, there we are. Finally. Okay. Once again, if you want to see me play some games on this board using the chess.com platform or the leechess.org platform, or if there's something else that you wanted to see that I didn't show off in this video, please leave a comment down below. If you want to save 10% off any chestnut item, whether it's the Chestnut Air, the Chestnut Pro, or the Chestnut Evo, be sure to use the code CHESSUC to save 10% off, or use the link in the description of this video. Click on the screen right now to watch me unbox the Chestnut Air, a portable e-chess board. Or click on the screen right now to see me unbox the next generation ultra smart chess board, the Chestnut Evo.